Hey y'all, today we are in Spartanburg, South Carolina, otherwise known as Hub City. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about living, breathing, doing all the things that you do on a daily basis in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Let's do it. As always, my name is Will Sawyer. I'm a local realtor here in the upstate of South Carolina. And if you're thinking about moving to the upstate of South Carolina, or if you're just wanting to know more information about the area, we hope that this YouTube channel is as entertaining as it is informative. And we hope if you do decide to move here to be your number one resource for all things moving here and to be the realtor that you choose to work with. A little bit of history on Spartanburg. So Spartanburg was formed in the late 18th century coming out of the Revolutionary War. And uh, since its inception, it has been known as the textile mill capital of the world. There have been over 40 textile mills that have operated here in Spartanburg. Of course, many of those um, have shut down, but interestingly enough, many of the ones that have shut down have been converted into residential units, whether those be condos or apartments right here in Spartanburg. So where are we? Uh, Spartanburg is 28 miles northeast of Greenville. So we're a little bit closer to Charlotte, but a little bit farther away from Atlanta. Um, and Spartanburg County, I believe is one of the state's largest counties. And there's a lot of stuff here. So if you need to go to Charlotte, you're only 80 miles away, I think. And then if you need to go to Atlanta, you're gonna be a little bit farther. You gotta go through Greenville, but you'd be about three hours to get to Atlanta. Spartanburg has been in many publications about being some of the best places to live here in the entire country, especially in the state of South Carolina. Spartanburg County is one of the fastest growing counties in the entire state. Tons of people are moving here and people that have been here for many, many years are starting to love to call Spartanburg home. So 20, 30 years ago, as those textile mills left the area, Spartanburg wasn't necessarily the most desirable place, but Spartanburg's kind of undergoing this renaissance, if you will. Um, millions and millions of dollars are being pumped into downtown and the county itself to really revitalize everything that's going on here in Spartanburg. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, I think it's a great time to definitely check the place out. So hopefully this video, we cover all that and please, if you find this video helpful, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and definitely leave a comment in the comment section. We'd love to interact with you there. So a big appeal to Spartanburg County itself is one, BMW has their largest plant in the entire world right here in the county. Uh, every SUV that you see driving down the road is made right here in Spartanburg. I believe they put out about 1,400 vehicles per day and BMW employs just under 10,000 people here in our area. So big industries here are industry, uh, healthcare, and education. Uh, Spartanburg is kind of coined as a college town, even though it really does not feel like a college town. Uh, some notable universities is VCOM, a medical school right down the road. Uh, USC Upstate, which is an extension of South Carolina and Columbia. You have Converse College, which until recently was an all-girls school. And then, most famous, Walford College, which is my alma mater, Go Terriers, um, right here on South Church Street. Uh, and right now, uh, the Carolina Panthers are getting ready to start their training camp, which they come to Walford every year, which pumps millions of dollars um, into the local economy. So uh, a lot of great things going on in Spartanburg and let's cover some more. If you move to Spartanburg and you're trying to figure out some things to do, right behind me is a really cool place called Freight Yard, which is owned by the folks who own Willie Taco, which is probably the most popular taco spot in Spartanburg. So when I was here um, back in the mid 20 teens, uh, Freight Yard opened and it has been booming ever since. So definitely a great place to check out to go grab some drinks. While we're on the topic of food and drinks, this isn't the only place in Spartanburg to check out. Um, if you wanting to go after church on a Sunday, 
definitely go check out Wade's, which has a great Sunday spread. Best burger in Spartanburg, in my opinion, is Ike's. The Beacon, which is world known, not my favorite place by any means. I would definitely say if you're looking for a cheeseburger, go to Ike's or go to Sugar and Spice. The best craft beer in town, besides right behind me, would be uh, one of South Carolina's first breweries, which is RJ Rockers. Um, and they have a restaurant extension right beside the brewery, as well as Cribs Kitchen, which has won the best Brussels sprouts. And if you're looking for a craft burger, they have a burger cook-off every year, and they list all of the burgers that have won in years past for you to check out and love. If you're looking for a little bit more fine dining, definitely go check out the Kennedy over on Kennedy Street. And if you're looking for a great steak, the best steak in Spartanburg is gonna be at the Peddler Steakhouse right downtown here as well. So we're standing downtown right here on Main Street currently, and there's a ton of stuff that happens every year here on Main Street. So most notably the Spring Fling. Um, so Main Street shuts down, they have carnival rides, all types of food vendors out here. And if you come to Spring Fling, definitely check out Delaney's, uh, which is the best Irish pub, one of the best Irish pubs in the entire upstate. Uh, other notable places would be the Chapman Cultural Center, the Morgan Square Development, which uh, has recently opened up, which has really offered a new facelift to the town. And then concert venues like the Spartanburg Memorial Auditorium, which hosts a number of different bands and people that you would be pretty surprised to know that come to Spartanburg. And there's also a great coffee downtown, Spill the Beans where we just were, which has only been open for five to six years. And then Pharmacy Coffee, which is very popular as well. And there's uh, the coffee bar, which is Little River Roasting Company's uh, shop right beside Hub City Book Project. And also worth noting on the north side of town, which is a part of the north side redevelopment project, which has been a big initiative for the city, uh, is the farmer's market. So on Saturday mornings, you can definitely check out the farmer's market and go into uh, the kitchen there where chefs, people alike, will be in there cooking food. So if you're thinking about relocating to Spartanburg, you're probably wondering where you should live, right? Because it may not be downtown where all these shops and restaurants and places to come out and enjoy your weekends are. So fortunately for Spartanburg County, the average price point is still under $300,000. So relative to Greenville, um, it's still a very affordable place to live. Um, places, kind of buckets where you should be looking. Um, if you're looking north of Spartanburg, you're gonna be looking in places like Campobello, Inman and Bowling Springs. There's a lot of construction going on in that part of town. If you look south of Spartanburg, you're gonna be looking in places like uh, Pauline or Roebuck or Moore, right? Or even Woodruff. So BMW just announced uh, their newest plant, uh, which is gonna be their battery plant, which is gonna really push their EV initiative. Um, they're opening that up, or starting construction rather, uh, right there in the small town of Woodruff. If you're looking west of Spartanburg, so if you need to be uh, close to the airport or closer to the BMW plant or closer to Greenville, um, you're gonna be looking in places like Duncan or Lyman um, or even parts of Greer, um, which will put you really close to the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport and the BMW plant. So if you're wanting to get out on the weekends, a couple places to go would be one, Croft State Park, which has mountain biking trails, awesome walking trails, there's some water features there as well. Or you can go to Glendale Shoals, which is where the remnants of the Glendale Mill used to be. Um, so there's a water feature that runs through there. You can get in the water there at your own risk um, and then see kind of the ruins um, of the Glendale Mill. And then there's what's called the Spartanburg Rail Trail, which is only two miles, but spans through downtown. It's a really nice place to bike, run, or walk with the family. So hopefully you found this video about Spartanburg very, very helpful. If you did, please like the video. Please leave us a comment in the comments about what you loved, about what you wish you would have seen. And if you are following the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button to see all future videos. If you're thinking about moving to our area and if you're particularly interested in Spartanburg, please reach out to me at my email below or my cell phone below, and I would love to chat with you more. Thank you so much. Have a great day.